Only the yeah. Yeah. double that. That's it. Yeah. I think that was what, yeah, one of the players. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Apologies for the stuttering connection. Very clever there from uh, Willis, just bringing his man forward. Okay, 30 all in this first game. to Willis, one love, first set. been playing against uh, Jamie Sackey. You can see him in the far right corner of your screen. There's a cannonball you hear on my right side. Minsky against Seabrook. Just click the line with that one. A replay of that we can watch later on. Interesting to see, but I think it clipped the line. Mold played it, so it's a material now. Sudden death, and uh, Willis is going to take it on the ad cop because uh, he's left handed. I'm well, just kind of chucking one of those. <laughs> oh, glance at the camera there from uh, Marcus Willis, who was once world number one, very briefly.
15 left. One all or two left? and ground stroke. Another great return. Takes the game. On the scoreboard, 1-2. is uh, on serve now, 1-2. Amazing. You've just tuned in, get yourself a cup of coffee or tea and get ready for an absolute battle. did make the play. First point, uh, second point, it's love 30. You played the drop volley on the first point. Oh, did you win that? Yeah, 15 all then. Getting a lot of grease off that net now. Yeah, <laughs> and that's Max Norman, you can hear on the uh, court next to me on the left. Eight foot long, it looked like. And then, uh, put a lot of topspin on it. No! 
Russian play there from uh, the world number one. Gets himself level on games. It's two all in this first set. It's great serve. Didn't so it's fifteen love. Didn't the cake walk it once was for Willis. like that in his sleep. Scary that he can do it on both wings though, especially if that isn't actually his normal forehand grip. Uh, maybe you should have stayed sleeping, you might have made that one. Dreadful technique. Huge forehand. Sets up a break point and a game point for both players. Come on with that. It's 3 2 to Mould. It's in the money now in the round of 16, so uh, I hope we'll figure out we're trying to make some of our own. Streamers World. They've been supporting this game since pretty much the beginning, since we went pro. Oh. 
Tea break. That's an unbelievable rally. Stunning lob followed by a ridiculous pass. Break at the moment, it'd be nice to have a quick look at uh, a little slow mo of Vince forehand. Oh. Back up, of course, we'll watch that later on. Um, he's looking a little more confident at the moment. Moles just ripping a forehand cross the turn. Come on! 15-40. Served a lot bigger there, did Willis. I think that set the point up for him. Great play, big serve, big forehand, moving forward instead of grinding it out from the baseline on a slippery court. It's got to be the way forward for him. It was an incredible piece of justice if you saw the right hand side of our screen there from Finn. play from Willis. I've got to say, I don't understand why he's not doing more of that. He hasn't been from earlier on in the match. Anything else you can weight this down with because all the weights are holding those down. Yeah. 
Just look back at that point from uh, Chris Bench, who's playing against Alex Bull in uh, the Belgian Open. My comments would be about uh, Bent's forehand that you saw there. He never seems to point his the butt cap of his racket towards where he's going with his forehand. He doesn't find that hit zone. So one love Willis in the uh, one love mold. Sorry, in the second set, he took the first set four two. Filth meets filth. argue that Mould's only allowing him to play as well as he's playing. So good. Oh. That's an unbelievable shot there from Willis. Drag right out wide in his backhand and he just cuts across and nails it up the line. One all in games now. If anyone was going to make amends after a shot, that was it. Oh, that's 
absolutely disgusting. You don't have time for your head too. Straight after each other. Oh, he's made it. It's a great play. Athleticism. Really good retrieving from Mould as well, but uh, Willis manages to put it away when it counts. <laughs> Two one in this uh, in this second set. Mould having taken the first set. Welcome into the booth with us, Alex Bull, who's played against both these guys a lot. Sutton growing up from both in the uh, tour. How are you doing, Alex? Yeah, not too bad yourself. Yeah, yeah, very good day. It's now starting to see some sunshine out there. What quality the last 16 match we have here. Yeah, so two slam winners. Between the two of them, they own more slams than anyone. <laughs> Got Gollage on court complaining about the seeding. When, uh, We're the three seeds. Me and Elliot. Dude, seeding is based on the doubles rankings. If you don't play, fuck yourself. It doesn't need to. I do. It's based on the seed, the highest seed. Ask Hassan. Yeah. Sorry about the loss of connection there. Um, breaks in and out a fair bit at the moment. Alex Ball still with us, they've gone to get a new ball. Still 2-1 in the second set. Talk about some outdoor matches, we've got Saki and Finn over there grinding it out. That's filth, isn't it? They've been mashing the ball, I'm amazed one of them hasn't caved mentally yet. They're not the strongest either of them. Although in fairness, you did gag a storm against Finn, didn't you, at Belgium? Yeah, well, we try and forget Belgium as much as possible. <laughs> Belgium doesn't exist. We've been seeing a psychiatrist for that. And, uh, and that's his advice. Just help him. What's his advice? Just don't think about it? Uh, yeah, just don't think about it. It doesn't help. It reminds me. Yeah. So the psychiatrist, did he say it's not your fault? It's not my fault. It's not no. your fault, yeah. Good. The early stage of childbirth, apparently. Yeah. Okay, starting again. Every month. Back on serve. 1 2, love 15. One, it's actually 1 2. Willis is 2 1. Mold serving at 1 2. We've got a new ball though, so see if that makes any difference to the way they're playing. Might encourage Willis to come forward a bit more. the court. Still trying to find out this result. He won. 
Uh, shout over that court. Minsky won in three, redeeming himself after the cuffing he took in Belgium from Seabrooks. Probably the worst beating a man ever taken. He was slapped off court in seconds. Even worse than when I beat you in uh, Spain. That didn't count. What? Not many of you actually. No, but oh, wait, that's what we've got that. Oh, you see that from the highlight videos? Yeah, well, you know, the highlight, I mean, they're edited independently. So, I don't know why it does always look like I've won the match, but hey. Oh, no! There's the shout from the athlete. Yeah. Eight shot rally, well, 39. You can't want to win in the net. Enough juices? Every game. Scoring this one. This is a big point here, it's uh. What's a big point? Two all. That was sudden death Three juice. One. Three one, sorry, to uh, Marcus Willis. Don't listen to me, I don't know what mine about. No, someone's yeah. watching this game. Who's your money on now? I think Willis with a commanding 3-1 yeah. lead serving. Yeah. He's looked, he's looked right. to redeem himself from being too lovely in the first set to losing it. He's got his head back in the game. Yeah. Mould making some uncharacteristic uncourse days. It's also dry in the court, so um, it's not a whole lot of movement. He's moved, yeah. He was complaining about his knee, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Much better, sir. Another rocket from the wheel run. Is this first set? New ball. There's the moving forward you were talking about earlier. Someone coming forward. I just think if it's wet and you can go back at home to your opponent, you might as well come in a bit. Now, quarter drying off, is this a change of tactic? Yeah, this does, it's not uniform slippery, which is the worst thing, I think. It's always a lot better when it's just completely wet. It's like playing nice. Yeah. Really should have. It's another good time of juice. More taking on the ad side. Surprising, really. Yeah, I think so. Yes, for a left here. Two side, kick her out wide. I think he prefers his backhand return, but uh, it was his forehand that let him down there. Maybe that's why. That's a set to Willis, and we're at one set all. Welcome back. Alex Ball having a bit of a laugh there at the uh, changes to technology, how we're chucking adverts in at the middle of the... Uh, I don't think it's down. the advert, I think it's the match that I've just seen, Finch Belgium, after I've just talked about not wanting to talk about Belgium. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll just show you a quick point from that and show you uh, Vince forehand in slow-mo. Watching next year, one in the point, that little filthy Grindos. Still think the point of uh, when I went back behind Bin and he fell over and had clay all over that beautiful black shirt he had. Yeah, but did you win the match? It's not about that. It's not about oh, winning, okay. it's about taking part. We all yeah, know that absolutely. about playing touch tennis. Yeah, exactly. That's what my highlights reel are trying to reflect. Yeah, I'm surprised no one ever calls him up about that. Because I'm not either. And Just it, notice that on the other side, this yeah. middle foot being very flat. Yeah, but he does it in the air as well a lot.
So what do you think both players will be looking to do in the early stages of deciding? Spank the other guy. To spank it. Yeah. That's no, tactic. spank the other guy. Just humiliate him however you can. Get in the head. Racket from Jamie Saki. He's just walked off. Has he lost the match then I can only assume? Saki? Ah, oh, Saki's a set all, that means he's got four more hours to play with Ben. Saki's probably the only man apart from Alexander Wilton who's gone 15 years without hitting a winner in his life at any sport. He can play squash against himself and not hit a winner. special news to try to stop it there. Paul is having a bit of a laugh at that. Just glad you were here. At least we will. we'll always have Belgium. Belgium was a serving exhibition between me and Finn. An exhibition between you on how to not do it, yeah? Yeah. First doubles match on? Yeah. Steve Waterman. Six years in a row. Who are you partnering with? Seven. Partnering up with today. Uh, I've got some bunny from Sutton called uh, James Trailing. How do you feel about that partnership? Oh, I don't know, it looks like I'm going to have to carry him as usual. I was going to carry Willis, but he's decided that uh, he needs more help than I can afford him. So he's got uh, Claire Kendrick who's going to prop him up. So, love one, third set. I got a bit of trivia for you here, Alex. I'm not very good at trivia, but she hit me with it. Who beat Marcus Willis in the final match on centre court at the National Tennis Centre in our US Open in 2010? I'm assuming because you're asking me you. Yep, it was me. Even though he beat Mole in the finals, I was the final match he played after that. And that technically makes me another US Open champion. Uh, if only Federer could <laughs> that same claim. <laughs> yeah. So, I beat Djokovic in a practice set after, after Wimbledon. Wimbledon. <laughs> no, no, I beat a ball boy. Forget beating Djokovic. No, I beat a ball boy. It doesn't matter. I won the last match on court. Tennis adopt some of our philosophy. Could you imagine if Grand Slams and Tennis actually had consolations as well? <laughs> yeah, I think they should. <laughs> Epic. Imagine that. 48 grand for a second round win in the consolation at the All England. I think that's why they're putting a cover on court uh, one as well. Just about yes, the thing about consolation. Yeah, exactly, because there's not enough time for them to put all the consolation matches on. So by putting a cover on that court, I think that's what we're going to do next. Could Conso be best of five? I think Conso have to be best of three with, with a buster in the third. Champions buster. I like that idea. Oh, oh, watch this for the spank. Oh, it's just close placement. Pretty hard, but more placement than pace there. <laughs> Then, if you'd open up the point with the uh, seeding shot. 
a tight one here. Third set. Yeah. Again, it's going to be yeah. very close. Uh, it's beyond close. It's a blatant football. You should be shot for that. I mean, it's unforgivable. The guy's number one in the world. He's a disgrace to the sport, and no one's calling him up on it. Intimidation, man. She's intimidation. It's just like when you got caught. Yeah. You're already intimidated. I'm already in the head. They're always thinking, you know what? I'm not going to beat this guy no matter what I do. So. And then you just let them win just because you feel bad. I felt bad. Callum was going to cry. Callum did cry. I mean, he smashed his racket three or four times, and he literally was about to cry. So I thought, well. We'll give him a match. But we won't talk about your earlier match and the four match points. What were we just discussing? Belgium, right? <laughs> Belgium was a long time ago. I've moved up from being 300, 300 in the world. Make it your day. Man up. Strong to come to the match? Do you think they feel that? Do they come in and vulnerable? Not will it, so he's. Memory's so adept up there. Poor hand tackers. You know what I said about not breaking my racket? Accepted, it's not condoned, it's sort of. We look the other way. And you start melting frames that you should be banned from the tour, especially Callum Goodger. What is his name anyway? Callum Goodyear, Good 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 Hasn't had a haircut since it's been born. <laughs> oh, Saki taking a slip. The mold three love up in the final set. Willis to serve, love three. Big first point. You can't love. This is why I don't understand why Willis isn't coming in more. He's got that serve, he's got the approach. I mean, maybe just Mould hasn't given them the ball to get in. Just keeping it deep. Had that against Pierce today. Couldn't get into the net. Right, couldn't get your balls deep. Just couldn't get balls deep. And I hate when I hatched. Because then I just struggle. <laughs> oh, generous from Mould on the sideline. And then Willis misses the volley. A bit of negativity coming out from Willis now. Yeah. Last three points in a row coming into the net. He's not winning from the back. He's missing too many four points. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Just destroy itself as well. Two weeks. Huh? Yeah, I know. Can someone get us a new ball? Oh, I'll just stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Score in this game for Philip. 
15, 14-15, I think. I believe. So a question, why have you got been slow motion beforehand? Um, well, when you were coming into the commentary booth with me and you sat down, I thought I'd just drag that into the into the screen to have a look at it. Any other highlights we've got from one of the previous tournaments? Well, we'll see if we can find anything here, shall we? The, uh, the goat playing, that's always a fan favourite. What people want. Great, great rally. Stunning backhand in this wind. You'd think it was still out there. If it weren't for the banners all flying everywhere, you wouldn't, wouldn't know it. The way these boys are hitting the ball. Three in games, it's 3 1 now. More of a chance to finish here. So, a quick look at this rally. Oh, I recognize this one. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. What was what was my quote the night before? Yeah, you, you said something the night before, didn't you, about being passed at the net? Saying your backhand could never pass me. Yeah. You did say your slice backhand. And I did pass you with the slice as well. No, there's no proof. I'll show you, I'll find the tape. I think your archives are that big. No, but we do have you losing in Belgium on the archives. <laughs> we'll always have Belgium. Never get tired of saying that. Plus with doubles gap as well in Belgium, not just singles. I mean, you gagged in every single way first, possible. This is my first senior tournament in the pro circuit. An experience. Uh, no. You played the the year before? Yeah, like a year, that doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, I see it. Yeah, you still lost. Yeah, but the game no experience has duffed me up so badly. You should have stuck around for the consolation. Yeah. I, did, I did win one round. What, the consolation? No, main draw. Oh, okay. Who did you beat? <laughs> don't know, but it was the worst match. 5-4, four, 4-5. Four, it was four sets, all time race. Against an older gentleman. Just back. Very, very close, but uh, just deep. Not sure if that was calculated move by Mold or. <laughs> That's unbelievable. 30 or 3 1 in the third set, you get that. Absolute fill. Great play, he saves two match points and he gets himself back into the match. That is an incredible way to take it. Welcome back, we're at 2-3, uh, we're back on serve. Elliot Mould had a chance there to uh, close out the match, he had two match points, but Willis played uh, incredibly well on the second match point, not so well on the one before, Mark just pushed it into the net. What do you reckon Mark is thinking about at the change of ends? Two match points? He's thinking I hate my life? I don't know if we're going to go that far. Oh, okay. I would be. That's a bit, bit sinister. 
maybe slapped himself around the face a few times, I don't know. What would you be thinking? If I was him, I'd just be looking up, have a quick glance over at Gabby and say, i got a smoking hot girlfriend, who cares? I'm going home with her tonight. That's always a good way to think about stuff. Yeah. Nice, completely mindless sort of... It's the honesty that counts. Yeah, exactly, it's the honesty. Or I'd be thinking I'm just going to hit four more net cords and win the match. There was another way of doing it. Good point. Look at the ball over. Easy. 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 He knew there that if he uh, lost that point, he was facing three match points. Sudden death of Juice and 15-40 would have counted as three match points. I would have called that out. Yeah, me too. Half the top of the as well, would have. Yeah, I can't believe Mold made that return. Stunning, stunning play. I would have called that as well. <laughs> Just give it the finger. Hope for the best. You could be a something trait, because Callum, good girl, did that to me earlier on. I'd have replayed that if that's the case. That hit the line. Yeah, yeah. that hit the we line. We think it was good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. You shut it. Eh? Huh? Take too long. Play it again? Yeah, I'd replay it. You had a shot on the plate at the ball. Tension's rising high. No, it's unfortunate. But he did hit the line again there and would have stayed in the point, so. Three love to three up. Yeah. Tight match, tight match. Kind of felt that Eddie would really need to win that game to win the match. Well, if he won that game, he would have won the match. Oh. I'm saying he had to win that game to win the match. And, and if the other he game won't catch, don't be silly. <laughs> Not much I could say there. <laughs> Cheeky banter, touch banter, hashtag. Yeah. If you want to write into us, just type in with the hashtag touch banter. I'll hear your thoughts on the match. You can even ask Rashid a question. Yeah. Ask Goat.
Trailing and I. Uh, well, luckily we're not in your half because of some dodgy seeding. Hey, the seeding is based on ranking. It should be based based on <laughs> ranking. No, it's based on the top ranked player. I double rank. Let's face it, your ranking top top is rubbish. <laughs> Oh, he's missed it, he's missed it. Oh, and a generous call from Willis on the sideline and then he spanks that ball out oh, wide. <laughs> he's nervous about the calls now. And there should be an umpire for this, but uh, they decided to play it in good spirits. Budget cuts. Yeah. I guess they're talking about budget cuts quick. After this point. Oh, oh. He's missed another one. Talking about budget cuts, I mean, it was disgraceful. I was watching Cincinnati, an ATP Masters 1000 game. Semi-finals, Roger Federer against Milos Raonic. And they've got two Lions judges instead of three. And the same thing happened in the finals in Montreal or Toronto, wherever it was. Sorry, somewhere in Canada. They have two people. I mean, why are they so tight? Maybe they're just adding it to prize money. Oh, come on, they're not doing that. It's ridiculous. I mean, there's millions on offer there. Or at least, I don't know, what is it, the prize money on that? Like $500,000 or something? Toronto was $600,000. I remember seeing it thinking that is a scam. Yeah, and they can't afford three lines, people. And I suppose they're probably thinking, well, you know, we've got poor fires, they've got a problem with the court. <laughs> If that's the case, still, I mean, most you wouldn't, lines you wouldn't people see that work. In touch tennis. Yeah, you wouldn't. In touch tennis, you'd never see that. You would never see two lines judging if you just don't have any at all. But at least we're not tight. That is true. We're consistent. <laughs> Finish it, won't it? Only right. It's been a phenomenal match. Oh. Scary enough, the amount of balls they've hit, they've only broken one ball. Yeah. Oh, that's a phenomenal shot. You've got four breakback points right here put us into a uh, third set, deciding tiebreak to five. I've got a feeling it's going to be ended with a bit of justice. Someone's going to get a dirty net board and drop it dead. It's the only way. Only one bit of it. Very, very loose game from Willis. Yeah. Okay, break here. To five? Yeah. The rule for the breaker for changing ends. <laughs> Funny enough, Alex was at Sutton when we had our French Open there and it was Marcus Willis and his Elliot Mould. Rewinding time. Yeah, we changed the tie breaks just before that tournament. To win it to five points. 
And Elliot made a good point to draw the match. Well, he said, well, we can win it all from one end if we play as well. That's what happened with me and Pierce today. North. Yeah, it went to Paul up down. He had a great oh. surf that went over the building. Oh. Away. 2-1 Willis, 1-2. Old serving. So what happened after that? So no, we, before the tiebreak was played, actually, Elliot asked, you know, he said, Change every, I said change every six, and he said surely we should change every four. And we changed the rules there and then. <laughs> Between these two quarterfinals, Technifiber were the sponsor that day of that event. Back in the day. Edit Moore was speaking on behalf of what the players to me. Yeah. World number one. At the time, yeah, he was the pres council, president of the council. Association of Top Tennis Players, ATTP. ATTP. Chris Comeau went for the job recently and we said no. So he went and took on the uh, funny role at the ATP tour instead. That's all the money's a lot bigger in terms of uh, He's missed it. It's too all. I'm going out and doing bold statement. This is a long, long tie break. Well, I can't pretend it's something that's for all. Well, it's not going to be a long tie break. That's a stupid thing to say from you. How can you say something as dumb as that well, on air? It's going to go for all. That's a long tie break. It's not a long tie break. It's like long tie break. No, it's not. It's not. No, no it's not. Who's even let you in the commentary just? Oh, that's a cheap, cheap miss. And it's 3 2 Willis now. It's on his racket now. Two serves to come. Painting the lines there. Another, another ball broken. Ball number two. It's not too sure to see the break. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Pretty chunky tear right down the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now broken. Yeah. Such kids here in the commentary box. Great thing about these balls, though, is. When you're done with them, they are biodegradable. Um, so you can use them as a sponge and bath and wash the dishes with them. You should get edible ones. That's a good once point. You, once they break, we can eat. Yeah. So maybe that's the next way forward. What would you make them out of? I don't know. I didn't know have been hit on the floor by the two tennis rackets. What do you make them out of? Eggshells, given your shots are so soft on the backhand. <laughs> Got a bunch of backhand. Three all in the breaker. New ball. Trailing acting as ball boy there. That's your doubles partner. Doing a great job. Pony. Oh, Two more. Two more. Match points three and four. Where would you place this set? If I with my safety, I'd go kick out wide and go inside in with a forehand. He's got change ends now and serve at four all. Sudden death. Sudden death. Sudden death. You choose which side. Will is not sure of the rules. He's an idiot. Turns up late. Turns up late. Doesn't, know, up the late, doesn't know the rules. So it's disgraceful. I think he has to return this blindfolded. Well, this is a um, massive point. I'm so hoping it ends with justice. I was just looking at very smart.
someone's like stop going. <laughs> Oh, he's missed it. Oh, they saved the best for last. That was a great, great point to finish the match. And Marcus Willis goes through 5-4 in the third set.